finds finds pole, finds pulls. Get the connect. Shots done. Oh, then oh here we go. Lob, it's Kenta with the first kill against Pangu. Once again, strongest fragger on Penta's side is out of the round very, very early. Kanto uh, changing positions immediately. Only a bit of damage done to his Jäger. So still enough for him to have a huge, huge impact on this round. And Penta is down by one. It's a 5v4. They still have the... What is up, bros? Welcome back. Sorry for that four-day hiatus in videos. I do not mean for that to happen, but we're going to jump right into it with the match between Ent and Penta. Now, this is the finals match that I'm actually predicting that is going to be happening later on. But anyways, this first line of sight is going to be really badass. Really popular place for attackers to go is up on the windows, and you can actually hold an angle in between this little railing right here and we have a bunch of different spots i think almost a dozen so i'm going to keep these clips a little bit shorter and let's move on to the next clip <laughs> another another door if there is no door for you just yes. do one yourself sledge makes one door for himself all right so this next tip is going to be a quick sledge tip on how you can get through faster so you see how when you sledgehammer a wall standing up you actually have to pause put the hammer away and then you can vault through but this trick, you're going to be able to just go straight through and all you have to do is crouch and then sledgehammer the wall as you're walking towards it and you will be able to instantly keep moving forward without having to stop. And I know a lot of people don't know about that, so i got to point that one out. Talking about this a couple days ago and his favorite song is called El Crocodilo. He was telling me about it and, you know, so far, <laughs> it's biting. It's definitely biting. and. I, I can't wait to see what he pulls out here on the attack because... All right, you guys. And of course, we're going to have at least one or two Valkyrie camera spots. This one's really sick. You're going to be able to watch the doorway and look all the way in. Oh, my God. I'm getting a phone call. I'm messing up my voice recording. You guys get the point of that one, though, right? You know what? I even redid that voice recording just now. But you know what? I'm going to leave it in. It's natural. You know what I mean? Real life happens. Let's move on to the next spot. On Mira. He had a bit of bad luck. Uh, last two rounds all right so this next one and this one really surprises me how many people won't take out this camera you can take it down all the way from the street by the sewer spawn if you want to and it's actually pretty funny because this is a video outline that i'm working on right now is how to take out a bunch of cameras while still outside so definitely wanted to include this one in it from the classroom and they're gonna look through the hatch. oh there's shetty that's the chance for fabian not getting the kill but there's the crossbow with all the oh. fire and then getting a double kill for Penta to start round one here on map two against Kanta and Shati. Bouncy also falling to Pangu. Defense is falling apart right now. Wilkie finally gets Guga. Important one, but Fabian traded that with Wilkie right after. Panery still left. The only one left on Ants. Capital with this crossbow and then gets Panery finally as he had to move around due to that, uh, due to that shot of Capital down there. Yeah, that is Forcing the blinding, the blinding, uh, blinding crossbow basically comes right into the feet. All right, so this one, I want to just quickly cover how effective Capital can be. And it's pretty cool because you actually don't see Capital too often within the pro league. And so I definitely wanted to include this one. When you're attacking laundry room and you can get a Capital as an attacker, it is so effective. So many people will be placing mirrors, watching the staircase into laundry room. You can shoot Capital arrows through the windows. You can watch pretty much every little corner as you saw in the previous clip. And of course you can just clear it out and you're gonna come over here and plant it. Now let's take a look at this sick Kenter Kitty clip. Nobody will ever check for an echo, especially in there. There's nothing. There's no telltale info to play off of if you're attacking. Oh, counter right next to Yunus gets him <laughs> through the wall. But uh, Yunus get will keep just before that they had the oh, information Kanto! coming in. Kanto with the what? double kill right after. PX basically with the help of Shate to get the kill on Fabian. Spots one from above, gets the info, C4 right onto Goga, and he's gonna get taken out, blown to smithereens as Goga. So this next one is so sick. While you are defending upstairs inside of the dorms room, as you see right here, you can take out the four, and this is super effective regardless of the class that you're playing. Pulse, Valkyrie, of course, they're absolute beasts right here. 
Um, shout out to that top 10 MLG C4 throw right there. But basically, you can watch this with a gun and anybody jumping in is going to get completely annihilated. Absolutely badass spot. He can flex with the best of them, but I don't think Koka can do this one even. Panari gets the final frag and this is clean sweep round. Koka was just so lonely. Someone had to end his life. All right, so kicking it off with our first spot on console, it is a little bit older spot, but I want to point out how viable of an option this spot still is just because of how strong of an angle you are holding. It is very difficult for anybody coming down these stairs or through the doorway to see. So even though it's a little bit of an older spot, such a good one to still be using the uh, attacks. But also, Ense going for Boonsi on the Blackbeard. And I want to see where they actually set up Boonsi. Because you oh, can have Shabby's him. Oh, hat. I think it was Vizzle. I'm sorry. Disturbing you. For Fabian here. He still stays quiet. Is there a chance for the first kill? All right. So our second spot on console is a really nice line of sight. And this one is going to be very, very risky for people to be repelling on top of these windows outside of the admin office. It's already very risky just because there's so many places that you need to be checking. And I've never seen anybody hold this line of sight before and it is a dirty one. You gotta just come back over here, lay down outside the window and look at this very nice line of sight that you now have. Should throw anybody that wants to come in through the spiral staircase, but oddly enough, they're gonna leave this side open here and only reinforcing one side um, one side of the back room in the console office and otherwise no mute to actually deny information from yellow stairs all right bras so this next spot is gonna be a valkyrie camera and it is very self-explanatory you want to just make it so that it is facing away from attackers when they're running out of the spawn so that they won't see it and you can even do it, you can put it up on top right here, but it really doesn't make a difference if you put it here or if you put it a little bit lower, you're still gonna be able to see the people repel on up. So the ones that are a little bit lower are gonna be the better ones because they're less visible. And of course, if they have an IQ, might get taken out, but all in all, still a really good cam. 2v1, that diffuser has to get set down. And he's got to get guarded. Fabian though, oh, he's got to get spotted, Kanto! There's no time remaining! Pengu can't do anything here. He's gonna get spotted and Kanta Raketi, are you kidding me? From the top side, from the top rope, look out below. And then the next thing you know, you'll be on the floor. All right, and so our next tip is just something to keep in mind. As soon as you touch these brown floors, this entire floor can be destroyed. Whether you are defending or attacking, you need to keep that in mind. So when you're attacking downstairs in the garage, a lot of times it's gonna happen just like what you saw. The attackers come in, start breaking up the floor, the defenders start to scatter, but Cantor Aketi is such a badass and plays so strategically, he was able to circle around, bring his roam game up top and use it against them. And when they went downstairs, it actually backfired because they had no safe place to plant the bomb. Also another thing to keep in mind, these are very popular murder holes to put on top of garage. Right here you can take out bandits, mutes, mirrors, etc. Let's move on to the next spot. Nice. Play day seven here in the Pro League European region. Bouncy had strong rounds lately. Especially on the I'm not really group. sure if the bandit pick is what he should try right now. I know. All right, and so for this next tip on consulate, you're actually going to be able to make a line of sight onto this breach that a lot of roamers like to break when they're defending downstairs because that way they can rotate around into piano room and take out and contest anybody attacking into it. But you can actually hold a really nice angle on the window and look up to it and a lot of times people will be crouching down so even if you're not able to see their legs sticking out over the breach you can actually get some shots up you just got to rearrange yourself and of course that's going to wrap it up for this video sorry for the delay yet again i've just been having a ton of stuff going on uh, i'm actually getting married in a few weeks so that's the reasoning behind that if you want to leave some questions down below in the comments i'll try to look over them and answer them regarding that 
And of course, I'm going to leave the last few seconds of the final match going into the final round of Penta and Ents. I love you guys all. See you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace. And so far, a Pengu though will finally get the kill on a Kanto to finally remove this very pesky roamer. But they have KS on the Mira, standing right behind that reinforced wall, so they don't have to worry too much about it here. They can start chucking those uh, gas grenades in. There's just enough time here to help them out. Oh, is on the back. Look, Shadi is on their back. Panary gets Goga here. Top frag on the side of Penta. Flung to Panary, KS. Finds Wilkie with the C4. And there's Shadi finishing off KS. Only bouncing oh. Panary left. Oh, Panary last kill for NC and that's it, NC Esports beats Penta.